Hey guys, it's me, Amy. Today I'm going to do this deceptively simple ink blot inspired design. I start off all of my face painting by applying a makeup primer and a light coverage foundation and now I'm applying some white water activated face paint with a foundation brush and I'm just going all over the face, past my jawline and finishing under the chin. If your white face paint is looking a little bit patchy, you can brush or sponge over another layer of white face paint once the first layer is dry, or you can use a white pressed powder or matte white eyeshadow to layer over the top and that will even everything out. Now I'm taking a black eyeliner pencil and I'm sketching out a pre-designed ink blot shape. It helps to study ink block pictures first and test out your designs on paper just so that you're a little bit more comfortable when you're drawing it onto the face. When you've got the basic design that you want, begin filling it in with black water activated face paint. If you've got lots of small areas, use a very fine tipped brush and take your time. If your design's quite bold like mine is, then a medium brush will be fine for covering the areas quickly, but still precisely. you're all coloured in, begin to go around the whole outline of your ink blocked piece and add a few little patches and tiny dots. From the pictures I referenced, an ink blot image is not an exact science, it's interpretive, so place the blobs and patches wherever you see fit. For the neck I'm diluting a little bit of white face paint with a lot of water and using a foundation brush I'm pressing that onto the neck starting just below the chin and then I'm just letting that drip down as far as the drip will go. Try and make it so that each drip is of different opacity and a different drip length. You can control this by adding more or less water for each drip. Repeat the process with the black face paint and if it starts looking a little bit too dark you can go back in over the top with white to lighten it up a little bit. Keep on creating drips until you get the effect that you want.
And that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys. If you have any questions or requests for different looks or anything like that, please let me know in the comments and be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you'll never miss a future video. Lots of love. Okay, bye.